well. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you two different types of breathing exercises. The first one is very calming and grounding and works in a wave-like movement. The second one works in short spurts that acts like a shot of espresso, like a coffee, pick me up, boosts you up, especially during this lethargic lockdown period that has sprung up across the world. So there is a lot of scientific evidence that supports how breath alleviates stress and how we breathe defines how we live our reality. If we're always shallow breathing, so you know, only breathing without using our diaphragm, our diaphragm muscle, which is found four fingers underneath our belly button, then the way we experience our reality comes from a place of <sighs> anxiousness, nervousness, uncertainty, um, shallow breathing does not support your body's full capability and potential to perform at 100%, mainly because you're not sending enough oxygen around the body. Okay, but before I get too much into the science of things, let's get started, shall we? Now, you can either cross your legs in lotus position, so you can bring your other foot up over here like this, or a cross-legged position where both feet are underneath the knees, but I like to sit with my right foot on top of my left knee like this because it gives me a comfortable stretch. Now, make sure that our posture is relaxed. We don't want to have any tension in our shoulders. We don't want to overarch our shoulders back or hunch our shoulders forward. We want to find a nice neutral position. <sighs> Now, clasp both hands like this, interlacing the fingers, and bring down your palms, just where your diaphragm is. If you don't know where your diaphragm is, take four fingers, place them underneath your belly button. One, two, three, four. Where your little pinky finger is, should be, for most of us, where our diaphragm is situated. Now, let's go back to interlacing our fingers. We're going to inhale up. When we inhale up, we rotate our wrists one time such that with the rotation of our elbows as well, the palms come up and the head follows suit. On the exhale down, we're going to follow our palms with our eyes, rotating the wrists back and the palms are facing upwards. We're going to take this breath five times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. All right, I think that was five times. Now that is something, a type of breathing practice that I do for myself and I've learned it from a few of my different mentors and masters over the years. And what I love about this certain breathing technique is that it engages the body. Sometimes when we breathe, we tend to not connect our body in the process. We're going, <laughs> But by connecting the body and engaging with it, it allows for the body and mind relationship to be more concrete, to come together, um, to merge. Um, we can't breathe without our body, basically, because we need our intercostal muscles, we need our lungs, and um, we need our spine to have us upright and moving. So everything is really interconnected if you look at it. So engage the body. So I love this because it really engages that spine, the neck going up and then bringing the palms down, relaxing. Also our chest is expanding and relaxing as we're doing the exercise. So it's really a wonderful exercise to do from the comfort of your home or your working office. Now the next exercise is like a quick cup of coffee. 
So we have again both our knees on the on the mat, our feet on the mat, cross-legged, and we're gonna inhale up, reaching up as if we're grabbing air down, and we pull our elbows towards our chest and exhale. And again, inhale up as if grabbing the air on the inhale and exhale down. So the eyes again follow that flow, look up, eyes come back forward on the down. So let's try five breaths and inhale, exhale, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And what this looks like at speed is like this. And you can do it even faster if you want. So what you find after that is whew, you have an influx of oxygen that is sent right up to your head and is being sent to the whole body. If you do this too much, as you can see now, or if some of you have already practiced this with me, your heart rate has just gone up. So it's like a pick me up and it's a boost, but it's not something that I recommend you do like, you know, 50 times in a row. Um, unless you're at that level where you can, but I think for beginning, just let's try 10 at a time and eventually we can get to 20 at a time. Um, again, I, I spoke about it activating the system, getting it ready to go, um, like a pick me up. Um, but the contrast between both breathing techniques are there. One is very calm, it grounds you, it brings you back to center. The other works as short bursts, also grounding you, calming you, bringing you back to center, but getting the body to go and move. All right, well, that's all I have today. Thank you so much. Please um, stay tuned for my Instagram um, videos. There are more to come on my page. And also, this is part of the new program that we are setting under a new company called Chapter Inc. And the program is, of course, called Breathing Exercises and Techniques for Home and the Office. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for tuning in.